new flight restrictions for aircraft coming into the United States from certain countries. We know that uh, U.S. intelligence is saying that they are concerned that terrorist groups continue to target aviation, possibly with explosives in, hidden in electronics. And so that means that passengers on flights from 10 overseas airports uh, will be affected by these new restrictions. They won't be able to carry on any electronic devices larger than smartphones. So that affects things like tablet cameras, uh, uh, laptops, DVD players, and the like. They'll, be ha they'll have to go into the checked baggage. Uh, nine overseas airlines have 96 hours to comply. Uh, the countries affected here, Jordan, Egypt, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Morocco, Qatar, and the UAE. And then to the big news from yesterday that you guys uh, were talking about here, we learned a couple of big things uh, from FBI Director Comey. The first one was that, yes, in fact, there is an FBI investigation into the 2016 election and uh, Russian meddling in it, and to any possible links between the Trump campaign and the Russian meddlers. So that was one question that we had going into the hearing that was answered. The other was that, yes, uh, James Comey says there is no evidence to back up the president's uh, suggestion over Twitter uh, that he was wiretapped by former President Barack Obama. Comey saying there simply is no evidence to support those tweets. So we got two big answers yesterday to two big questions that had been hanging over this whole story. Uh, but then we saw this fascinating moment, something I've never seen in my lifetime. You had a, a hearing going on about an investigation into the president's campaign. And then you had the White House live tweeting that hearing as it was going on. And then the FBI director asked to respond to those tweets in real time. Here's what they put out from the White House from the at POTUS official White House account during the day yesterday. They said the NSA and FBI tell Congress that Russia did not influence electoral process. And then Congressman Jim Himes uh, saw that tweet and had the opportunity during the hearing then to ask FBI Director Comey what he thought of that tweet. Here's that exchange. So it's not too far of a logical leap to conclude that, your, that the, the, the assertion that you have told the Congress that there was no influence on the electoral process is not quite right. Right. It, wasn't, it certainly wasn't our intention to say that today because we don't have any information on that subject. And that's not something that was looked at. So Comey there saying that the White House simply got it wrong in that tweet and that, that that's not their intention at all. Uh, so we had this wild meta media moment here. But bottom line is this is a story, guys, as you were just talking about, uh, that is going to be causing problems for this Trump White House possibly for months to come. Because once this investigation gets started, it's going to have to run its course. And then, as you say, we're headed to one of two possible outcomes. One is a full exoneration in which Comey, you would expect, would be forced to come out and say, uh, look, we did a deep dive here and we found nothing, uh, or some other legal outcome here that would be significantly adverse uh, for the Trump White House. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.